Good morning, everybody. How are you all? This is uh, Dr. Nandi. Today we are going to talk about uh, hypergeometric distribution. So I'll share my computer screen with you. A shipment of 24 computer keyboards is rejected if four are checked for defects and at least one is found to be defective. Find the probability that the shipment will be returned if there are actually six defective keyboards. So this is a problem on hypergeometric distribution. So hypergeometric distribution okay so what does it say given a population with only Two types of objects such as females and males, comma, or defective and non defective. and non-defective. Etc. Such that, comma, such that there are A items of one kind and B items of another kind and B items of another kind and A plus B equals the total population. The probability B, X of selecting without replacement. Without replacement. A sample of size N. A sample of size N with X items, X items of type A and N minus X. Items of type P of 
टाइप बी इज गिवन बाय दिस फॉर्मूला प्रोबेबिलिटी ऑफ एक्स इज इक्वल टू एन सी एक्स सॉरी करेक्ट दैट is a items taken out of x items x items yeah so combination of a items taken out of x items multiplied by combination or so combination of x items taken out of a items multiplied by combination of n minus x items taken out of b items this is multiplied by so the, the first item or the first part is x items taken out of a items and the second part is n minus x taken out of b items so the combination of x items taken out of a and combination of n minus x items taken out of b these two combinations are multiplied multiplied uh, divided by combination of n items taken out of a plus b okay so this is the formula okay so we have to identify in our problems what is a what is b what is n okay so in this problem it is clearly stated that a is equal to 6 okay and total is 24 so b is equal to 24 minus 6 is equal to 18 six items are defective so six defective and 18 non defective non defective and we are taking okay we are taking a uh, find the probability that the uh, sample will be there six defective items six defective keyboards actually six defects so a is six b is 24 minus six is 80 because the total shipment is 18 okay uh, the second thing it says if four are checked for defects okay so in my case n is equal to four okay and x is the type of defective so the question is at least okay uh, Okay, say read the sentence. The shipment of 24 computer keyboards is rejected if four, n is four, are checked for defects at least one. At least one means one or more. Okay. So uh, let me move this a little bit. Okay. Since the lot is rejected, if at least, if at least, at least, if at least, at least one keyboard one keyboard is found in defective
uh, it is necessary to find the probability it is necessary it is an necessary it is necessary to find the probability to find that none are defective okay that means x equal to 0 are defective None are defective. Okay. And subtract this probability from one. And this probability from one. Probability from one. Here we are using the law, probability law component. Law of complement of probability of complement events of complement events complement events okay so uh, as I told you before, we have A is 16, B is 18, X, uh, N equal to 4, and X equal to 0. So probability of 0 defective is equal to A means Okay, let me make sure this is written. Uh, so this is A is 6. Okay. So I'll go back to my thing. Okay. Okay. So A is equal to six, okay. So probability of zero, we are using the formula. So A is six, so zero items defective out of six multiplied by B is 18. C, N minus X is four minus zero is four, okay. So B N is four, X is zero, four minus zero is four. Okay. Divided by divided by A plus B. A plus B. So uh maybe I'll create some space for myself. Okay. So A plus B. A plus B is 18 plus 6 is 24. C and N is 4. Okay. So this is the probability of finding zero defective. So let's use our calculator. So how will I use my calculator? Uh, let me first show you how to use the calculator to find these combination events, combination numbers. So I'll erase this. So, okay, so let's find, to find, to find 6, C, 0, 0 item defective out of 6, okay, use TI 84, so 6, C, 0 is first type 6, Okay, so you type in your calculator six, then press the math key. Six, then math, then highlight 
PROB on the top line. Highlight PROB by moving the cursor on the top line to PROB, okay, which is probability. And then scroll down to number three and hit enter. Okay. So in your calculator screen, you will see six C something parent in square over here, types zero over here, and enter. <clears throat> and, and therefore, if I create some more space. Uh, okay. Six C zero. Six C zero is equal to one using the calculator. Similarly, let's find out eighteen C four. Okay. So type eighteen math P R O B number three and then four. 18 C 4 and that is equal to 3060 and 24 C 4 that is equal to 24 math P R O B scroll down to 3 enter 24 C 4 and that is equal to 10,626. So, probability of zero defective is equal to 6C0 is 1 multiplied by uh, 3060. Whole thing is divided by 10,626. So, 3060 divided by 10,626 is 0 0.288, is 0 0.288, that is zero defective. So probability of x greater equal to, oh, one is equal to probability of at least one defective of at least one defective, one defective. Is equal to one using the log probability of complement events, probability of zero is equal to one minus 0 0.288. And that is equal to one minus 0.288 is equal to 0 0.712. So that is your final answer that we are looking for. So we find the probability of zero defective. And now we want at least one defective means one and greater, x greater or equal to one. So we use the law of probability of complement events, which is one minus probability of zero, one minus 0.288. So 0 0.712 is your answer. I will stop here today. Thanks for watching. If you have any question or comment, do not hesitate to write me a note. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. If you like this video, please give me a hearty thumbs up. I really appreciate that. And please let your friends know about this video if you like it. And your friends and yourself, please subscribe to my channel by hitting the red subscribe button at the bottom right corner. I'll come back next time with another interesting problem, interesting solution. Thanks for watching. Take care. Have a nice day. See you next time.